as against the senior neighbours, a much softening up and refining of skills had to be done before breaking loose. Could it even be that Pontypridd were overdoing the attritional? Ah, no, not really. Enter Neil Jenkins. Play him at outside half against Ings Conjurer. Play him even as an extra rucking forward. Yes, the permutations are endless. Flexibility, of course, is a Pontypridd trademark. And if the outside half can turn up where he likes, well, why not the number eight as well? And Phil Ford, he doesn't mind who delivers as long as the final pass lands with him. Soon, where bonus points were almost guaranteed, it was the occasion to give squad members a game. Hooker Jonathan Evans is better known for having scored a spectacular match winning try at a Twickenham varsity match. By late last night, this was also being described in the same glowing terms. Yes, 20-odd metres running through six would-be tacklers on the way. Old Blues were allowed to score tries. Why not the boys in blue as well? And PC Prosser happy to chip in with his contribution. The deftness of their handling, just study this. And of course, Ford happy to accept anything that comes his way, even if it does involve a bit of push and shove to get fingertips in front of Kelly Davis. The heady heights of tabletop of inhibitions amongst them, with the result that the dummies become more and more outrageous, and Cormac's feeling of elation even greater. Rowley to Prosser. Good into passing between the two locks. Move quickly to the right-hand side, and a try for Pontefree, the draw level. Steve Lewis, the try scorer. Pontefree pack taken up by Paul John. He's held just a few metres short. John, ready, serves Cormac. Cormac is man outside him, but decides to go on his own. And what a good try, good individual try by the outside half. Kevin Morgan joining with his back row man, this Phil Thomas. There's Martin Williams. Williams goes going to score. Another try for Pontefree. By Rowley there. Pontefree the coin, the rolling ball. Now they release it. Phil Thomas supporting his backs. Going for the line. Good work again by the Pontefree flanker. There are men spare on the left. Jonathan Evans. And it's the Pontefree hooker going over for a try. To Martin Williams. To Phil Thomas. All the back row involved in this move quickly moved left by Paul John this should be another try it is for Jason Lewis set up by the back row Take quickly by Jonathan Evans Paul John darting through but there's some non-existent good take there by Prosser to John to Martin Williams to Jonathan Evans what a well worked try from the line out and on the back foot for most of this game John gets it out to Cormac that's a nice loop, Kevin Morgan on hand, two bonus points. Four. Together, it did take time, but here's one example of what they do well. Everybody knows exactly what's going to happen. Paul John to Matthew Lloyd. The try ending, and even with unexpected possession, the plan is clear. Controlled setup in midfield, and then the switch at pace. David Manley already looking to pass. Kristen Cormack, Paul John in support. And at pace, everyone on slow, Pontypridd looked for another setup, but this time the setup became the run-in. Jason Lewis, just for once, the Evervale defence looking a touch soft. 23-0. Plenty of support for the ball carrier, and even when Steele Lewis hesitates, he has support all round. Good hands from prop Neil Einan. For Ford, the winger can't pass, so he sets up the ruck. Ford's concentrating on clearing the ball for Paul John. And then, once they're at pace, the ball carrier looking for the support before the tackle. A second try for Matthew Lloyd. Everybody knows what's going to happen. Crispin Cormack for Phil Ford, already lying up flat. And a good finish by the veteran wing. 37-7, the first bonus point. 
Mark Rowley, Martin Williams, Kevin Morgan to David Manley. On with the tap and go. Rowley again the link. Kevin Morgan so neat, so simple. The release to Matthew Lloyd. Manley one-handed, then two. And just for a second, Ponty seemed outnumbered, but the wing had done well to lay the ball back for Mark Spiller. And that gained them the second bonus point. John again hands on to Phil John, brought down by Paul Williams. Ponty all the way. Cormac brings Steele Lewis inside. Goalpost beckoning. John. And still this ball coming back. Mark Spiller. John, Cormac inside to Phil Ford, and Pontypridd score their first try. Pontypridd now take possession. Paul John to Phil Ford, and Phil Ford will run round Steve Gardner, and the second try for the former rugby league man. John, Jason Lewis this time coming in on the crash ball, just sets it up again. Steel Lewis. Kevin Morgan and Phil Ford with the simple task of plonking the ball down for a hat-trick and Kevin Morgan. Paul John. Jason Lewis and David Manley. David Manley rounds off so much possession upon the free side. Steel Lewis now with the break. Can he go all the way? He's got Manley outside. And Manley will finish it off for his second. And yet, Neath have lost it. Cormac with Jason Lewis. He's quicker than his brother. This time, Jason will get there. And that's yet another try for Pondipree. Being penalised for offside. And Paul John will keep up the momentum. Phil John now, doing what he loves best, just crashing into defenders. Rowley, though, takes it. And Rowley scores. And it drifts. Oh, nicely done by the front row forward and links inside to Crispin Cormac and the outside half can thank the front row Sardis Road they've turned it on against the defending Welsh champions and now Gareth Wyatt surely this is going to be an 11th try it's 72 points now Pondipree and Pondipree warm up and then the ease into top gear Kevin Morgan's kick and the latest player at Sardis Road to catch the eye wing Gareth Wyatt the new bridge in the table. Exhibition time for the club at the top. Paul John feeding Matthew Lloyd for the try. And angles were added to passing patterns. Try for Jason Lewis. In the passes, short and simple. The effective formula for the top club side. A second try for Matthew Lloyd. Well drilled set piece moves. The ball to Phil Ford. And what you might call an inspired substitution. Evans quickly out of the scrum for the try. Two win points, two bonus points. On the Paul John on a sniping run. Great chance for the scrum half then. Finally gets the touchdown. Great start then for... Making it available to Paul John spots the gap. Oh, it's tremendous opportunism again by the scrum half. Oh, this is a terrific run by Paul John. Can he go all the way himself? Oh, that is outstanding. There are a couple of knock-ons. Good battle by Newport and Pontypridd just having the edge in most departments and here's the main man Paul John 